Hi everyone, it's Charlotte and in today's video I'm going to be doing a little Q&A to answer some of the questions that you guys asked me. Just quickly before we get into it I just want to say thank you so much because last night we hit 1000 subscribers which is insane so thank you so much for that you guys. So enough waffle from me, let's get into the video. So the first question is will you get a horse? Hmm, probably not in the next few years. It's one of the things I really really want to do but I think I only want to do it when I've got a career going and I've, I'm have i in a situation where I can do that because obviously I can't drive myself anywhere and we don't live exceptionally near the countryside so it would be like at least half an hour to go and see a horse and even like even sharing a horse is kind of out of the question really at the moment so in the future yes but at the moment probably not. Okay, question number two. How long have you been riding? I'm actually not sure. I think I've been riding since I was about seven, six or seven. I don't really know. I can't really remember. I've been riding for eight or nine years, so that's that question. What's your favourite discipline? Um, I think I love eventing. I've never actually done like a proper event and I was going to do one this year and it's in September, so I don't know whether that's still going ahead or not, but fingers crossed um, but I think my favourite sort of discipline within eventing would definitely be um, cross country and then show jumping and then dressage last like I do love dressage like I love the element of like the technical element of it but I do I do like a good adrenaline rush on the cross country course what's your favourite horse breed I don't know I don't really have one I haven't really ridden many breeds like I think my favorite kind of breed that I've ridden I just like a good cob like a good sturdy trusty cob I think they're pretty reliable and they're they're good they're good all-rounders generally but if I had to choose a favorite horse breed just based on looks I think I would go for a black forest horse because they're so beautiful who do you look up to most when it comes to riding there's quite a few people I quite look up to Mary King Pippa Funnel um, the Whitakers, people like that. I don't have one specific person that I particularly look up to. There's qu there's just quite a few that I'm just like, oh, you're amazing. What made you start riding? I think I have had to consult my parents on this because again, I cannot remember. When I was really young, I went on like, you know, in those farms, you get to do like a pony ride for like a pound or something. and. I, I did one of those and I was just like talking about it for like the whole day. I just kept on talking about it. I was like, oh my gosh, I really enjoyed that. Um, and then I do remember when my dad first took me to my first riding lesson, he was just like, right, put your wellies on, we're going somewhere special. And I was like, oh, I had no idea where we're going. And I just had this little sort of lead rein lesson on this pony called Fern and I really enjoyed it. And I caught the bug. What were your earliest riding memories? So I think one of them will definitely be that first time I rode that pony called Fern. I also remember in that lesson I just did not understand anything. I did that thing like as soon as I got on they were just like, right you want to walk forward and this is like the, the second time I'd sat on a pony. So I did that like cowboy thing I just went like flicking my reins and I was just like Ah, and they're just like, no, you use your legs and you squeeze, and I'm just like, oh. Uh, what was your worst fall? I think my worst fall in terms of injury was a while ago, like years, and it was, I was on a little pony called Teddy, and um, I can't remember exactly, but something set him off and he bolted across the school, and he just started bucking and I was like a complete novice I would literally fall off for anything so I was pretty quick out the side door and I got a concussion so well done me congrats what was your proudest moment I think it would have been at the show that I went to last year me and Misty did the 80 centimeters and I actually fell off at the first jump which was not good um, but I got back on and I like we finished the course it was horrendous though because it was like it was really messy I don't think I got a single stride right and um, poor Misty she was just she was so so honest she was just doing her best while I was flopping around like a sack of absolute potatoes and then 
but I think that was one of my proudest moments because I just felt like I was really proud of Misty mainly. I wasn't really proud of myself because obviously I'd fallen off. Um, but I was just really proud of Misty and I was really happy that we'd done our first like 80 centimetres course, so yeah. Who is your favourite horse? I'm presuming this means at my stables. Um, I don't really know. It kind of, I don't think I really have one. It kind of changes every time I ride. Like if I ride Treasure, I'll be just like, oh yeah, Treasure's my favourite horse. But next time I might ride Misty and then I'll be just like, oh no, I prefer Misty. So it, it kind of changes. I don't think I have a single favourite. I, I just kind of like all of them. I know that's not really an answer, but right. final question. If you could ride any horse, which one would you choose? Any horse. Any horse in the world. I think I'd probably like a little girl on Vallegro. I'd like to have a... I'd like to try a horse that was like that responsive and stuff like that, who could, who was capable of that sort of things. I know he's retired now, but still. So that's all of the questions that you guys sent in for me to answer. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up and maybe subscribe, because that would be really nice. So yeah, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Stay home, stay safe. Bye!